Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode with Raf King. Today we're going over some more massage education. Uh, in our last video, we talked a little bit about the T-bar, just how much I love it and why I love it. Um, but let's go ahead and get into my other secret weapon when it comes to uh, massage therapy and why I think it's so effective. So uh, just to shortly recap, I use the T-bar a lot because uh, these shoulders don't like being in the position uh, to use the elbow anymore, right? Been at this for about 16 years now, and certain things are just wearing and tearing. So take it from me when it comes to um, what you can do to increase the longevity of your career. <clears throat> now, the other part of the T-bar and the other part of wanting to have working shoulder, wanting my shoulders to be able to take the work is the vibration device, right? And this comes in so many different forms, but my favorite that I've seen so far is something that looks like this, like, almost looks like a sander, right? Obviously the cushion end will go on the client and the handles here you will hold. Um, I think this is a really, really awesome tool. I didn't like using it before just because I don't, there's something about having lotion on my hands or gel on my hands and then touching something that's very weird to me. Uh, but I got over that, and I use it now. What else I like it is it plugs in. I'm not going to have to worry about charging something. Uh, the Theraguns have become a far more accessible tool for the massage therapist in recent years. <clears throat> Remembering that they're two different tools, right? The Theragun is a percussive tool. The vibration device is a vibratory tool. Those are two different techniques. Those have two different outcomes for the most part. I can see why people get them why people put them in the same category as both vibration devices. Now, the Theragun, a percussive device, is awesome. Those things are great. The one small issue I tend to have with them, though, is just my own personal error, or I forget to charge them, or I don't quite, or I overestimate how much charge is left in one. I was using one the other day, a client of mine. Um, it said it had like 40% battery left and then just died. Right, so even when it's telling you how much life it has left, I, I can't always trust that, right? And it particularly becomes a problem if you do one side of the body and then don't have the ability to do the other. Now, of course, this can be mitigated through having spare batteries or spare guns or whatever it might be, but when it comes to this vibration device that I use, if I get an extension cord, I'm never gonna have to worry about that. Right, and that's what I've done. I've just got an extension cord. It's good to go for any session. It can go as long as it needs to. Um, and it's one of those things that I like to start off the session with and then end each segment with. So not only am I adding in a technique that I can't do with my hands, right? I can do vibration, but not like that machine can, right? Like that machine is going to vibrate circles around me in the process. So I'm, 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 I'm really upping the game for the client in that regard, while also benefiting myself. Here's the thing, guys. I haven't lasted this long by being foolish with my tools, by being foolish with my body. All right, we're going on 16 years here. For me, being able to implement a tool that allows me to take a, essentially a rest in the middle of the massage, I can take a break, right? And it's not just that, but, as I'm holding on to the vibration device, I'm getting the benefits from vibration as well. So my hands and my, my knuckles, my, my wrists, the, they're all benefiting in real time in the massage, right? I believe her name was Sherilita over at the Sedona School of Massage Therapy. Her philosophy is you should be benefiting as much as the person on the table. Um, and maybe that's a bit uh, of a misnomer, right? That might be exaggeratory that as much as the person on the table, but she does believe that you should be benefiting as you do the work, right? Breathing with the client, uh, good body mechanics, opening up yourself, right? All, all, all these things that yes, should benefit you in a session. Um, I like to take that mentality just a little bit further, I suppose. And yeah, with vibration, I am going to heal as I'm promoting healing. Right, and that is a very, very powerful thing. Particularly on those long days when you, you, you're busting these knuckles up and like halfway through the day, you're like, oh, <laughs> I gotta do this again tomorrow, right? When you can break up the day, when you can do really effective work 
at the same time as taking stress off of you, this is a win-win. This to me is a no brainer. If you aren't using a vibration device, you need to. If you aren't using, maybe you don't like the vibration device, maybe more about the Theragun. I would recommend breaking it up some way. And here's another way to think about it, right? When I'm doing my sessions, um, out of an hour massage, full 60 minutes, easily 10 minutes of that could be vibration, right? Start off full body vibration after each segment, easily 10 minutes of that. If I do five sessions in a day, that's almost an hour of my day that I've taken out doing massage. Well, I'm not, not just still benefiting, but creating a greater benefit for my client while still keeping the same amount of income while taking less stress on the body. Again, no brainer, right? Who wants to go ahead and make just as much money and not have as much stress on their body? Like literally everybody could raise their hand for that. So these are not that expensive. Um, I've bought one for 80 bucks. I bought one for 180. Um, of course there's sales and stuff. I think prime day is going on right now, or there's always some kind of cyber Monday that's happening. Um, so I would recommend that you check that out, that you try that. If this isn't your style, um, sound healing kind of has a, a very similar premise when it comes to vibration, right? Obviously that's going to be far more specific like with the vibration device here i've got two settings high and low and i don't even know what the specific hertz would be but like when you get into the sound healing it's going to be very specific the the, the tone that you're using with each one uh, but if you wanted to even just do a very basic intro to it yeah you hit the tool you put it on the body it vibrates it feels really nice there's no electricity involved you're not worrying about extension cords or or or, or spare batteries or anything like that <clears throat> i think it feels wonderful um but uh, I, i'm digressing slightly here overall what i want you to take away from this is tool use doesn't make you a weak massage therapist right i, I remember getting into the field at like must have been like three years in and i totally i don't have bagged on others for this i totally had that mentality of massage is massage right like you don't have stretching with it. You don't put tools in there. I don't need cupping or hot stones or any of that. A very naive mentality. And I see a lot of massage therapists at the three to seven year mark who think they are God's gift to massage. And they will, but that's all they want is just like knuckles, fingertips, and that's it, right? And they're just constantly wearing and tearing on themselves. And you know, 16 years into this, and I have no pride when it comes to putting a stretch in there, using a tool, um, asking the client to move or do something to activate a muscle. Like, no, no, no. We refocus on what, what your goal is, right? Like, I, it's so easy to let pride get in the way. I mean, I, I feel like especially as a guy in the massage world, like we make up like 10 percent of the community maybe 20 right your mistakes are going to be highlighted so much more so you're going to have this sense of perfectionism that comes along with your work and that's fine but don't let yourself get caught up in this trap where you're going to sacrifice your health in order to prove yourself it's not worth it it's not nobody's opinion of you in that sense is worth your health be okay with opening up and adapting and adjusting being fluid with the things that come to you i mean even somebody who prides themselves as a deep tissue artist um i, I really want to get into bowen therapy right like super light um heck i even want to get into like counseling where i'm not even touching the body right so like be open to how you help people. And remember why you're doing this. Like for me, I want people to live and move pain-free. Like you deserve to move through your life without feeling pain. You absolutely do. Um, that doesn't have to come from a place of ego. That can come from actually a place of lack of ego. It, it kind of has to. So reevaluate why you're doing this. Um, reevaluate what gets you out of bed in the morning and maybe it is pride maybe it maybe it is 
pure ego that 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 fuels you right that, that's on you but for everybody else i would say open up that open up to the t-bar open up to the vibration device open up to the theragon open up to cupping open up to hot stones right like all these things can benefit you in the long run and yeah it's another thing to clean right but the t-bar i wash that as i'm washing my hands after the session vibration device i wipe that down as i wipe everything else down after the session sure hot stones are going to take a, an extra step here or there but um cup cupping maybe not gua sha also definitely not it's a very small tool um, that you can wash up with after the session so don't be afraid to implement don't be afraid to grow don't be afraid to look at your own current skills and think i could do something else i could do something else to improve this and improve my client's experience um because let's face facts these people are spending way too much time and money for us to come from a place of ego and to cut them short too much time and money um and in a world where all of us have skipped the gym because of stress time energy finances massage can absolutely be a thing that somebody can need and also skip out on um, because they're either not getting enough out of it or um, they feel their money could be spent better elsewhere so just please be aware of that i want you to be the most effective massage therapist you can be and if there's a client watching this i want you to know that that's what we promote within our community and within our network that's just how we are so uh, thank you for hanging out with me today uh, stay tuned for our next video we're going to be going over some awesome stuff i'll go ahead and see you then and have a wonderful day